Hey, I'm JR, training manager here at Crutchfield, and today we're talking about the Sirius XM Rode BT, or the SXVR BT1. There's several ways to get satellite radio happening in your car. You can get a car with it built into the factory radio. You can get an aftermarket radio that is Sirius XM ready with a little hideaway tuner that goes inside your dash, or you can get something like the Rode BT, which goes on your dash with its own display and its own separate controls. It's a pretty cool satellite radio experience. The question has always been, how do you get the audio from the satellite radio tuner into your car stereo? Uh, for years, we've been using FM transmitters, which results kind of vary with those. The Rode BT has two great options an auxiliary output that you can use to plug into your vehicle's auxiliary input for a hardwired audio connection, or you can pair it with Bluetooth to your stereo in your dash, just the same way you would pair your phone to your radio to wirelessly send the music from the Rode BT into your stereo. The Rode BT comes with everything you'll need to use it in your car. First, let's talk about how it gets mounted. There are two mounts included, a dash mount with a sticky pad on the bottom and a vent mount. So you should be able to find a place to put it on the dash of just about any car. To get it connected, you'll need to use the antenna that's included. It's a magnet mount antenna that goes on your roof. It includes a 23 foot, very thin cable that you can route from your antenna around your windshield or the back window of your car down to the cigarette lighter power port. To get audio from the Rode into your stereo, you can go wireless with the Bluetooth or you can run the aux cable. The aux cable and the antenna cable both plug into the cigarette lighter power port, so that gets mounted down and out of the way with one single cable that goes from the power port to the Rode BT. So it's fairly easy to hide the wires for a nice, clean install. Keep in mind, this is not a dock and play radio. The Rode BT is not made to be taken out of a dock and put into a home or another vehicle's dock. It pretty much lives in the car you install it in. The display and control unit itself is pretty cool looking. It's got a nice colored display that shows album art and channel art and songs, things like that. Uh, there are 20 preset buttons, some up, down, left, and right controls that make it very easy to browse live content on Sirius XM. You'll also have access to pretty much any programming package that Sirius XM offers. So whether you're looking for uh, commercial free music or comedy or news or sports or uh, Howard Stern, you have access to all of it. The Rode BT also has a little bit of built-in memory, which you can use to play, pause, and rewind live satellite content. And it will alert you when your favorite song or artist is on, or if maybe your uh, favorite team has just scored a goal or a basket or a touchdown, it will alert you for that stuff as well. So if you're looking for a cool way to put satellite radio in your car with its own display and its own controls, uh, it looks good, it sounds good, and it's easier to connect than ever before, the SiriusXM Rode BT might be perfect for you. So if you have any questions about this, please get in touch with us. Go to crutchfield.com slash contact. You'll see there that you can talk live with our advisors either over the phone or you can chat with them online. You can also post your comments and questions here on this YouTube video. We do look at those and we will respond accordingly. And as long as you're here, go ahead and hit like and subscribe and turn notifications on, you know, all that YouTube stuff. Thanks for watching.